On many late model Ford vehicles, they have a function called PMI, or Programmable Module Installation. That's used when you replace a computer on the vehicle, such as you know, ECM, TCM, BCM, things of that nature. Uh, so what you do is you copy the information off the old module, and then you put that information back into the new module so all the configurations will carry over. So let's walk through how to do that using this Triton here. Okay, so for this demonstration, we're going to act like we replaced the ECM on this vehicle. It works on 30 different modules, but we'll, we'll just use the ECM for this. So we'll go into engine, and we need to determine the ECU, okay? It is a functional test, and it is under special functions. And we can see there's five different special functions. Programmable module installation is right in the middle. Make sure the ignition is on. It is, so we'll hit continue. It's going to communicate with the vehicle. And it says, during module programming, this module goes through a VIN verification process. This process compares the VIN in this module with the VIN in other modules on the vehicle. You may see the VIN verification screen more than once, depending on your response. So we'll hit continue. There's the VIN. We'll hit yes. And then now we need to turn the ignition switch off. So I'm going to have my colleague, Jose, help me with this. We need to turn the ignition switch on and off multiple times. Okay, ignition is off. We'll hit continue. Now it asks us, do we want to read data from the old module or write data in the new module? Now if we're replacing the module, we want to make sure the old module is in the vehicle already, and then we're going to read the data so we can put it into the new module once we replace it. So we'll hit read data from old module. It's going to make sure that the original module is installed, so we'll hit yes. And then now we need to turn the ignition switch to on. Once it is, we'll hit continue. It's going to read the configuration data, and then it saves it to the scan tool. We'll hit complete, and then we need to cycle the ignition off. Continue, and we're done with that step. Then we would replace the module, whatever it happens to be, in this case the ECM. Once the new module is installed, we need to write that data into the new module. So we'll choose Write Data. Install the new module in the vehicle. It's just there to remind you. Turn the ignition switch on. Okay, once it's on, we hit Continue. And then if you have any files in the, via, in the tool, uh, it will have you select whichever one you have. So that's the newest one on top. We'll use that one. Uh, it's also going to uh, make a call to Ford, make sure that we can do this. It's going to write the module configuration in there. And then uh, ignition, switch the ignition to off. Hit continue. Turn the ignition switch on again. Continue. And now the configuration is complete. So if we had completed this module installation, uh, it's a simple process to copy it off the old one, put it into the new one, and uh, pretty quick and easy.